For three decades, the Watershed Council has been active in the Walla Walla River Basin, a region rich in natural beauty, cultural heritage, and ecological significance. Founded in 1994, our council was born from a collective passion to protect and restore the health of our watershed for future generations. Our mission is to enhance, restore, and protect the Walla Walla Basin's native aquatic populations, watersheds, fish and wildlife habitat, and water quality while sustaining a healthy economy. We do this in collaboration with local, state, federal, and tribal natural resource managers, private landowners, and the public. Over the years, the Council has brought together farmers, educators, tribal leaders, environmental groups, and community members. Together, we've tackled challenges like water scarcity, habitat restoration, and sustainable land use. Our projects have rejuvenated streams, revived native fish populations, and fostered a deeper connection between people and the natural world around them. Tonight, we celebrate not just the milestones we've achieved, but the partnerships and shared vision that have made them possible. As we look back on 30 years of dedication and forward to a future filled with promise, we invite you to join us in renewing our commitment to this vital work. Together, we can continue to make a lasting difference. Thank you for being part of our story. One of the key components of our work has been to restore ecosystems and reconnect them. At Cows Creek, we've made significant strides by removing two major fish passage barriers. This crucial work has opened up over 14 miles of habitat for steelhead spawning and rearing, creating new opportunities for these endangered fish to thrive. With fish passage restored, our focus now turns to habitat restoration, ensuring that the environment supports the life cycle of steelhead and other species for years to come. Let's explore the progress we've made at Cows Creek. Located in the heart of the Walla Walla Basin in Oregon, Cows Creek is a vital tributary that breathes life into our ecosystem. This important tributary to the Walla Walla River plays a crucial role in the recovery of our threatened and endangered native fish species, serving as one of five primary spawning areas for the Walla Walla population of mid-Columbia steelhead. Yet, beneath its peaceful surface, Cows Creek faces significant challenges, high water temperatures, degraded channel structure lacking diversity, and barriers to fish passage threaten its health. During the summer and fall, the lower watershed suffers from low and intermittent stream flows, with temperatures rising to levels harmful for aquatic life. A lack of riparian vegetation and in-stream structure has led to extensive channel incision and erosion. The creek's natural processes are impaired, conveying water and sediment downstream without the beneficial slowing effects of a healthy ecosystem. Changes in local weather patterns intensify these issues. Increased air and water temperatures, frequent and severe floods, and prolonged droughts exacerbate the creek's vulnerabilities. The high flow events of 1996 and 2020 severely impacted portions of Cows Creek, washing away topsoil and leaving behind barren gravel fields. Projections indicate a decline in snowpack within the Blue Mountains, threatening the spring stream flows essential for steelhead migration and spawning. As snow shifts to rain, we anticipate more intense storms and flooding, further challenging the resilience of this delicate ecosystem. In response, we've embraced low-tech, process-based restoration techniques that work harmoniously with nature. By constructing post-assisted log structures and beaver dam analogs, we're mimicking natural structures that slow water flow, promote sediment accumulation, and raise the water table Planting native vegetation along the creek banks enhances riparian cover, stabilizes soils, and provides crucial shade to lower water temperatures. These efforts restore the hydraulic and geomorphic processes vital for a healthy stream. Perhaps when we're looking at the floodplain, we have these allowable spaces of, you know, maybe it's not one toe of the hill slope to the other, and letting the stream move within that entire area. Maybe there's fields we don't want to let go of, and that's okay. And reigniting these geomorphic processes and allowing that stream to move doesn't always have to mean all or nothing. And so I think Cows Creek is a great place to implement more low-tech structures and reignite a lot of those processes, particularly in that there are areas of inset floodplain um, there are side channels that we could put BDAs and keep water on the landscape. 
Um, there's a lot of space that we can utilize and implement these structures, but it doesn't have to mean all or nothing. And so I think that's an important piece for Cows Creek. Um, we can we can let the riverscape do the work without having it mean that it you know takes up that entire valley bottom. Um, so I think that's an important part of LTPPR, particularly in Cows Creek. We integrate hydraulic modeling and engineered structures in areas adjacent to homes and county roads. These measures ensure that restoration efforts benefit the environment while safeguarding infrastructure. Promoting ecological function without compromising community needs is a delicate balance. Our restoration actions are set to yield promising results. In the summer of 2023, we observed flowing water and steelhead red band trout fry in isolated pools above Keysburg Canyon, a hopeful sign that with help, rebounding aquatic life is just around the corner. Perennial pools and spring-fed flows persist through the summer months, providing critical refuges for wildlife. As native species return and restoration projects bridge the gaps between perennial pools, the creek is set to regain its role as a vibrant habitat. These successes are a testament to the power of community collaboration. Local landowners, volunteers, and partners have joined forces to bring Cows Creek back to life. While the ongoing work in Cows Creek showcases what's possible with on-the-ground restoration, our work also extends to vital data collection and scientific surveys. These efforts ensure we're continuously learning about our watershed's unique needs and making informed decisions for future projects. One such example is the Mill Creek Springs Survey, where we're investigating key groundwater and surface water connections that support healthy river systems. Water is the lifeblood of the Walla Walla Valley, essential for human survival and the entire ecosystem. For the city of Walla Walla, this water comes from one vital source, the Mill Creek Municipal Watershed. If you've ever driven into the Blue Mountains of Mill Creek, you've passed by this hidden treasure. It's a restricted area that is protected to ensure the integrity of the water supply. But what makes this watershed so critical? Mill Creek is more than a flowing river. It's a complex network of springs and groundwater systems that sustain the base flow of the creek, keeping it running even during dry seasons. Without these springs, the water supply to the city of Walla Walla would be at risk. In fact, 88 to 90% of the city's water comes directly from this watershed, the Mill Creek watershed also provides critical ecosystem services. Healthy watersheds improve water quality, cycle nutrients, store carbon, and prevent soil erosion. They also promote biodiversity and naturally control flooding. However, changes in weather patterns, increasing wildfires, and degradation in parts of the watershed are beginning to take their toll. In 2022, there was little data about the springs that contribute to Mill Creek's base flow. That's where the Walla Walla Basin Watershed Council stepped in. Partnering with the U.S. Forest Service, the Confederated Tribes of the Umatilla Indian Reservation, the City of Walla Walla, and the U.S. Geological Survey, we began the Mill Creek Baseflow Assessment and Spring Inventory to collect critical baseline data about the springs in the watershed. Using a system called the Groundwater Dependent Ecosystems Level 1 Inventory, we set out to find and describe as many springs as possible. Identifying these springs is no easy task. It requires hiking deep into the watershed, often to remote and difficult to reach locations. Our goal, to catalog each spring's flow rate, water temperature, specific conductivity, and more. Once we locate a spring, we classify it based on its type, limnocrine, hillslope, rheocrine, hillocrine, or even the visually stunning hanging gardens. Each spring is unique and contributes to the larger hydrologic system in its own way. We also document the surrounding plant and animal life, geological features, and any human disturbances in the area. So far, we've surveyed over 90 springs, but much work remains. We're continuing to gather data and map these critical water sources to understand better how environmental changes might affect our water resources. The Watershed Council plans to finish surveying in 2025. The data collected will serve as a baseline for monitoring future changes and help inform conservation and adaptation strategies. The Mill Creek Springs survey is more than just a data collection project. 
it's a step towards a broader understanding of the watershed and possible conservation efforts to preserve the health of the watershed and its ecosystems for generations to come. Protecting our watershed means protecting our future. By working together, we can ensure that Mill Creek continues to provide clean water and a thriving ecosystem for years to come. The knowledge we gain from projects like the Mill Creek Springs Survey informs larger, more complex initiatives across the basin. This leads us to one of our most ambitious ongoing projects, the North Fork Walla Walla River Restoration Project. This multi-phase effort is restoring miles of river habitat, reconnecting springs, and improving water quality. In the heart of the Walla Walla Basin, the North Fork of the Walla Walla River stands as a critical stronghold for fish and wildlife. However, years of environmental stress, including severe flooding and habitat degradation, have taken their toll. The North Fork Restoration Project represents a large-scale effort to restore vital habitat components and rebuild this essential river system for future resilience. The floods of 2020 caused significant erosion, sudden river course changes and habitat loss, severely impacting the North Fork. In response, the Walla Walla Basin Watershed Council and key partners initiated a phased restoration project covering five miles of the river. The first part of the project focused on reconnecting 14 springs back to the main river channel, focusing on improving water quality and creating more favorable conditions for aquatic life. In addition to the spring reconnections, we are restoring natural floodplain function through levee setbacks, large wood and boulder placement, and channel reconfiguration. These actions help the river reclaim its natural, meandering state, creating side channels and off-channel habitats crucial for juvenile salmonids. This re-established interaction between the river and its floodplain not only supports habitat diversity, but also helps regulate water temperatures by storing and releasing cold water during critical summer months. Riparian vegetation is another key focus of the project. Willow, cottonwood, and alder trees have been planted along the riverbanks to stabilize stream banks, reduce sedimentation, and provide shade, which helps lower water temperatures. This approach ensures long-term improvements in water quality and habitat for fish, birds, and other wildlife species that depend on these ecosystems. As the project progresses, even more trees and grasses will be planted to enhance these benefits further. The North Fork Restoration Project is about more than just physical changes to the river. It's a collaborative effort between landowners, local agencies, and private organizations, all working together to secure long-term success. Strong partnerships with landowners have led to contributions of materials, the alignment of cattle management strategies, and 10-year agreements for adaptive management to ensure we achieve the project's objectives. As a result of these collaborative efforts, we are already seeing improvements in water quality and fish habitat. With the floodplain reconnected and springs restored, we expect to see significant gains in the populations of key species, supporting their recovery and long-term survival. While we still have more work to do, the progress made so far is setting the stage for future ecological resilience. In recognition of this work, the North Fork Walla Walla River Restoration Project was honored with the STREAM Award by the Oregon State Land Board. The award, presented by Governor Tina Kotek, Treasurer Tobias Red, and Secretary of State LaVon Griffin Vallad, celebrates the significant contributions of this project to the health of Oregon's waterways, wetlands, and lands. It also acknowledges the dedication of the team and partners involved in this critical restoration effort. Dedicating our efforts to this project not only fosters the resurgence of steelhead populations, but also supports the restoration of countless other important fish and wildlife species. The work on the North Fork is a powerful example of what can be achieved when collaboration, commitment, and a shared vision come together. This project is building a healthier, more resilient ecosystem that will continue to benefit both nature and our communities for generations to come. The North Fork Walla Walla River Restoration Project is not just about restoring a river, it's about protecting an entire ecosystem for future generations. Together, we are ensuring that this vital waterway remains a resilient and thriving part of the Walla Walla Basin for years to come. Over the past 30 years, the Walla Walla Basin Watershed Council has worked tirelessly to restore, protect, 
and enhance the waterways that define our region, from the restoration at Cows Creek to the vital data collected in the Mill Creek Municipal Watershed to the transformative efforts along the North Fork Walla Walla River. These projects represent just a few of the many ways we're having a lasting impact on our watershed. But our work is far from done. We remain committed to continuing these efforts with the same passion and dedication as we look to the future. We will keep expanding our impact through watershed projects, deepening our relationships with our community, and exploring new ways to improve water quality and habitat. Together, we will face the challenges of tomorrow and ensure a healthy, resilient watershed for the next 30 years and beyond. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Whether you've supported us through partnerships, donations, or simply by caring about the work we do, your involvement is key to our success. We invite you to continue standing with us as we protect and preserve this vital resource for future generations.